In this video tutorial, we're gonna go over how we can start and stop Oracle Enterprise Manager. So we're gonna do this at the command line. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna list some alias that I've created under the Oracle user. These alias are very useful when you work with the Oracle Enterprise Manager and you don't want to go all the way through the binaries you just have to punch in your your short command you know wherever you are and uh, pretty much it will go it will get you to the to the binary so it will be easy for you to use the executables and also have access to the log with ease so to start oracle enterprise manager or the binary that it's used by oracle enterprise manager it's called em CTL and uh, you can get options from uh, like uh, you as you can see now we can see the status of the agent and the, sta the, the agent is good now we're gonna see how we can stop an agent so basically it's gonna be MCTL the option and then the target that's gonna receive the the action in this case we're gonna stop the agent that's running on this machine so you can see that the agent was stopped and now we want to see the status of the agent we just change the option or the action to status and uh, we get an, an image or a text saying that the agent is not running now we're going to use another alias that I've created that's going to take us straight up to the uh, management server uh, binaries and using the same tool emctl we're going to see the status of the uh, the management server so we can see the stat the management server is up and uh, we can do the same thing and stop the management server with the option all this is going to stop all the service services of the management server this might take some time depending on your machine or depending on the how big your application is and as you can see now uh, web tier was stopped oracle management server was stopped admin server was successfully stopped so uh, all our services related to oracle enterprise manager uh, monitoring tool are all down now if we want to start uh, the um, the app also we're going back to the agent And we're gonna start. We're gonna start our agent. That's gonna be the order that you're gonna apply when you're gonna start your Oracle Enterprise system. So you start with the agent, and then uh, you're gonna continue with the also verify the status of it, so you can make sure that it started. So you can see here that it started. As you can also see, OEM, OMS is not unreachable because that's going to be the next step we're going to start. We're going to move into OMS uh, binary folder and we're going to start uh, Oracle Management Managed Server services. As before, when you see, we, we don't have to state all services. This will start all services. Only when we choose the option to stop, you will have to say um, all services or some of the services. This might take some time. Alright, there you go. We have all the services up and running. We can check the status. And that's it, boys. You can see in the description I put some scripts. So uh, if you guys want to use them in your own, feel free. 